The Singapore Gold Cup is next, and this is a Group 1 handicap over a mile and three furlongs. At the top, moment of truth for Craig Allen, who's also got major leagues. San Jose Brilliant for Vinnie Gerard, Storm Murmur, David Robertson, Barber Coas, Darren Thompson, Future Treasure, Craig Beckwith, Kings Hall, Leon Van Rensburg, Kin Shasha for Satyam, Tesla Girl, Leon Van Rensburg, Francesca Kamani, Dan Hughes, Oceans of Aegis, Darren Thompson, Priscilla Assertive, Graham Clutterbuck, Sir Val, David Hooley, Angelica Rouge, Patrick Hogan, Dragon Queen, Graham Clutterbuck, Fibre, Joshua Sullivan, Pale Blossom, Martin Lidham, Persian King, Dan Hughes and Star Lord, Joshua Sullivan. So 19 of them taking their chances in this Group 1 handicap and ready to go. And away they go. And who's going to be the first one to break the line and get into the lead? It looks like San Jose Brilliance is going to be the one that's going to try and take it at one or two of these wide on the track. Will do well to try and cut into the rail. They'll be losing a lot of ground if they stay too wide. The one that's struggling at the back already is Dragon Queen. A good two lengths off the rest of them. But San Jose Brilliance has got the lead from Kin Shasha, a normal front runner in second. Then Sir Val Pale Blossom, the first of the greys, is next. Then Francesca Camani, the second grey. After that is Pale Blizzard. Uh, King's Hall, Future Treasure and Persian King are next looking over on the far side. You can see one or two have been caught quite wide there. Persian King, I think, maybe one of them. And the Leon Van Rensburg horse is also quite wide. But it's San Jose Brilliance that's got the lead by two lengths to Kin Shasha in second. Serval is in third. Then Francesca Camino the Grey is next with Oceans of Ages just on that one's inside. Major Leagues has got a nice run at the inside rail. Pale Blossom on the outside of Future Treasure. Then Tesla Girl, Storm Murmur is after that one moment of truth has got the rail as well the two that are wide are Persian King and King's Hall looking towards the back the Graham Clutterbuck pair are both struggling Priscilla Assertive and Dragon Queen there's only five furlongs to go in the Singapore Gold Cup and San Jose Brilliance is in the lead from Kin Shasha in second Oceans of Ages is in third Tesla Girl next Pale Blossom wide on the track coming through now Future Treasure Francesca Camani also still being pushed along King's Hall trying to run on so to Sir Val but it's San Jose Brilliance Brilliance, who's got the lead by two still. Kin Shasha in second. Oceans of Ages. Tesla Girl. Then Pale Blossom. Serval on the inside. Major Leagues looking for room. Francesca Camani likewise. But it's still San Jose Brilliance with two and a half to go. San Jose Brilliance has been in the lead all the way. Now Major Leagues comes out of the pack into second. Being chased by Future Treasure. Then Oceans of Ages. Kin Shasha on the inside. Serval trying to run through. Francesca Camani and Pale Blossom are next. They've got a furlong and a half to go. And suddenly Serval swoops into the lead. It's Serval that takes it up from Oceans of Ages. San Jose Brilliance has not got a lot left and Serval with a foot on to go. Serval is pulling away now. Oceans of Ages trying to go with it but Serval, they've got no answers to this one. Serval has absolutely walked it and up towards the line Serval takes it. Oceans of Ages second. Kin Shasha just out on the third from five and then Dragon Queen and San Jose Brilliance. One or two of them didn't get into that race at all today like Barber Coas who's normally up there with a chance and that one was right out of the back. But it's Sir Val that takes it. The handicap obviously helping as that was one of the lighter weights. And you can see from that it's Sir Val the winner for David Hooley. Oceans of Ages second for Darren Thompson. Fibre was third for Joshua Sutherland. Kinshasa for Satyam fourth. And San Jose Brilliance for Vinnie Gerard, the long-time leader, was fifth.